Now that you have all the doors in your model, we're going to start uh, working on some of the countertops in the kitchen. We're going to focus in on this little feature here, which is the half wall with countertop. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Um, the idea behind a half wall is this. So I just Googled uh, half walls and they are kind of, they look like this. Okay, where there's a, a small half wall that breaks up a room. It kind of provides division in between the two rooms. And you can have a half wall um, with a counter, countertop, which is what we're going to build. So you guys have an idea of what they look like. Uh, this would probably be a good one like that. So we have a half wall with a countertop that's going to break up the two rooms, the kitchen and um, the living room. So now we're going to go back to the model. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to size the countertop itself um, first, and then I'm going to move it out of the way, and then, then I'm going to bring it back. So uh, I'm going to do a rectangle. Um, um, this edge and drag it out to this edge. Okay. Um, I'm going to triple click on that and right click and go make group. And then I'm going to move it out of the way. Um, so I'm tap the move tool and grab it and just move it out of the way for the moment. And zip in on this again and we're going to create that little half wall. Um, so half walls uh, for a countertop is going to be about uh, like usually bar tops are about 42 inches tall. So we're going to drop that down one inch to accommodate kind of like a, uh, uh, what's it called? A uh, countertop. So um, here we go. All right, so I'm going to grab that right there, um, this guy, and we're going to pull this up uh, 41 inches and hit enter. Okay, so um, there we have it. Um, I'm going to create a small little lip on the bottom just because um, molding looks nice. So I'm going to come in. Um, actually, I'm going to grab this whole thing. We'll click on it, make it a group. Okay. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and grab, uh, I'm going to edit the group. Okay. So when you edit the group, it will look like this. You have these dotted lines around it. So I'm going to zoom in on this and um, create kind of a little molding over here. Um, I'm going to zip in on this, uh, draw a little, um, let's say a little rectangle, um, very small. Okay. Okay. So like, like that. And then I'm going to grab this and kind of, uh, we're going to make it kind of look like a look like a real molding I guess um, so I'm gonna go like this here um, to here and uh, moldings tend to have like a curved attribute to them so I'm gonna go not that <laughs> uh, I want the uh, three-point curve so one two and then kind of drag in uh, it's been very sticky. I need to rotate. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to erase some of the stuff. Uh, erase that guy. Erase this guy. I'm going to grab... Um, this plane, and uh, I'm going to use, oops, give me a second on that. 
All right, that was being very fussy. Okay, so we're gonna select this guy and then we're going to use um, the follow me tool. Follow me tool is very fussy, but it's really good for doing moldings. I'm looking at this right now. It's gonna be a very ugly molding. <laughs> Maybe I wanna alter this really fast. Um, I'm gonna alter. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab and maybe do, <laughs> maybe just line straight down. This looks really wonky otherwise. Okay, uh, erase that. And there we go. This will look a little better. Okay. Okay, so follow me tool. Uh, if you guys remember, you need to select your path, then you select the follow me tool, and then you select the thing that you want, the, um, the surface that you want to follow around the path. So what I'm going to do, I want this edge going down, um, and I want it to wrap around my wall. Um, the easiest way to select these edges that I want is going to be to go to the end of this and select one, two, and then the back of it, three. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is select one. Okay, this is just using the selection tool. One, I hold down shift, and you see there's that plus minus. I can either add or subtract. I'm going to add this, so you can see it's kind of blue. This one's definitely blue. And then I rotate around this. <laughs> okay, uh, you can actually rotate around. I'm seeing that my, um, my selection tool doesn't work if I hold down the shift key. Okay, you go shift and then select outside edge. So I've got one selected, two selected, and this side also selected. It's very faintly blue. Okay, then I'm going to grab the follow me tool, click. Okay, you can see that I get that kind of cup on that. Um, and then I'm going to go all the way over here. Whoa. Um, I'm going to go all the way over here with my follow me tool selected. Zoom in on the little thing that I grabbed and hit click that one time and it's going to whip around the structure. Um, and then you just tap the space bar and you're out of it. So you get this cool like little molding and this is a way to do um, details on your models. So, and that's going to like make them look really pro and really fancy. Um, so you can back that up, basically create a fun little face in here that looks interesting because something small, um, then you're going to select the sides one, two, and three, and then you click the follow me tool and then zip in on your face click it one time and it whips around the model. Very cool. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, click out of editing that group. I'm going to grab my other group, which is this piece right here. I'm gonna take the, um, I'm gonna take the move tool. I'm gonna do a guideline. So from the edge of this all the way up, um, to here, uh, which is three foot five, which is 41 inches. Okay. And I'm going to drop that guideline right there. I'm going to do another guideline, um, that is out this far. Uh, so we can space this correctly. It doesn't matter. Okay. We're going to go like this and then out to right here. Um, looks like it's about, I don't know, two and nine succeeds, but it doesn't really matter. You can just, just gauge it. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to line this piece up, that corner right there, um, with the countertop here. So, um, all right, so I'm going to grab move and grab the edge of this. And then we're going to do this, and I'm going to plant it right there on that intersection, that end point right there. Cool. Um, so that is now in place. Grab this face. We're going to edit the group. And I'm going to bring it up one inch. Um, so push pull. We're going to grab this and go up. Um, actually, maybe we'll make it a little thicker. Maybe we'll go one and a half. Um, so go 1.5 inches. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the entire thing. Uh, we're going to make this a gray top, and we're going to use a synthetic surface. So I'm going to triple click on this. One, two, three. 
Um, so that selects the entire thing. Go over here to um, components, uh, go to synthetic surfaces, and I'm going to grab maybe this dark gray right here. I have dark gray counters. They're amazing um, because you can't tell if they're dirty. Um, so I know that's kind of gross, but they're easy to keep clean. Um, okay, so we got this very modern uh, dark gray countertop. Looks real sharp. Um, and we use the, uh, the floor plan layout, which is great. We're going to do two more, um, two more countertop sections just to match this, uh, inside before we start placing, let me get rid of these, uh, before we start placing, um, our appliances. So we're going to zip in on this and I'm going to go ahead and cut out, um, we're going to cut out some counters for these guys from some cabinets. Okay. Um, so right here, just use the line tool, uh, line from the edge and the group to up here. Sorry, kind of awkward there. Okay. There over to here. Just try and get that as close as possible to here, to here, and to here. You can see that that lined up with this. It automatically gave me a reference, and there I have my uh, my cabinet. Um, I'm going to bring that up to uh, countertop height. Okay, for this, um, I want to Google like how high is the kitchen countertop? Because maybe I don't remember. So I go, I open up a new window. I go, how high is the kitchen counter right there? And we get 36 inches. So um, remember that our, our countertop I did at um, one and a half inches. So we want to subtract one and a half inches from that. So it's going to be 34 and a half inches. So I'm going to go back to SketchUp. Um, I'm going to push pull this uh, up to 34.5 inches and I'm going to hit enter. Um, great. Uh, now what I'm going to do is um, we'll click this. Uh, we're going to go make group. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, go on top of this piece uh, with a countertop. So I'm just going to trace the top um, because you can see that the, we want the countertop to be out a little bit from our actual cabinets. I'm going to push the cabinets in once we get the countertop on top. So from here, I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to trace on top of this. There we go. Um, select surface right now and see this is separate from the group underneath it. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it up uh, one and a half inches, 1.5 inches. Uh, I'm going to uh, triple click on this. We're going to make it a group again. All of this is to prevent that sticky architecture where things are stuck to each other and you can't edit them. Um, uh, so inside this, I'm going to select that same, um, that same synthetic material down here, synthetic surfaces, the dark gray. Um, sorry. If you triple click first and then you put the surface on, it'll hit all the corners. Um, okay. So now, um, I, I'm going to edit the edges of my counter a little bit. I'm going to grab this surface. I actually have to edit this lower group. I'm going to push pull this um, back one inch. Okay. So I'm going to push in that way one inch. Type anchor. You can see that in the distance box in the lower right. You're getting very good at this stuff. I'm going to grab this guy, push pull back one inch as well. And there's Tons of ways to do this, but um, and and just those two edges, this one and this one. Um, 
I'm going to go down and create uh, a toe kick. And to be honest, I don't remember how high a toe kick is, <laughs> so I'm going to Google that. Um, so we're going to go, how high is a toe kick? Um, three inches, three inches. Okay, so toe kick is that gap underneath your counters. Um, for whatever reason, they don't like them going all the way to the edge. Um, so I'm going to go three inches up from the bottom. Um, so I'm going to grab that measure tool. This go up three inches, three inches, uh, and then up on this guy, three inches as well. You can actually reference the other one. We're going to uh, draw the line tool from here, whoops, here to that intersection, from this endpoint to that intersection, and we're going to push each of them back. Um, let's find out. Let's say how. Is a toe kick. Um, yeah. How big is a toe kick on a cabinet? Four inches. That is the depth of three. That's amazing. That seems very deep, but we'll go with it. Um, okay, so we're gonna push pull that those surfaces back four inches. So I'm gonna grab this guy, push pull back four inches. Um, I guess that seems very deep, but whatever. Um, four inches. Okay, so that's so your feet can fit underneath it. Um, that seems like miserable to clean, but whatever, we'll go with it. Um, okay, on here, I want to create a kitchen cabinet. Um, so let's do uh, let's do two doors on here. I'm going to be creative with this and uh, use the um, the offset tool. Uh, so the offset tool is nested underneath this one, uh, or you can tap F. I'm going to drag in, um, and we're going to drag in, let's say, a two-inch offset. And then uh, I'm going to measure uh, the distance from here to here. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it. You're, we're going to find the midpoint here uh, and draw straight up from there, up to there. Okay. Uh, I want to keep that um, two inch gap in the middle. So that would mean I need an inch on either side to keep that two inch gap. Um, so I'm going to grab the tape measure tool again and drag out one inch and drag out one inch there. Um, grab the line tool. We're going to go drag a line down like that. Drag a line up like this. Um, and all of that, this is just to draw some equidistant cabinet doors that don't look weird. Um, I like very, this is just personal preference. Um, I like very modern, clean lines. Um, so I'm not going to make these too ornate, um, although we do need some drawers. Um, drawers would be nice. So um, how deep is a drawer will be the next. Um, how deep is a kitchen drawer? 24 inches. Oh, that's going back. Um, how that's going back. <laughs> into the wall so how high maybe that would be how high how high is the standard kitchen drawer um 24 inches top drawer height is six inches high six inches high that makes about that makes some sense so uh we're gonna go back to sketchup um do this as some kitchen drawers i'm gonna grab my tool um, from that from the top go down six inches woo so six inches hit enter that looks fine um, I'm gonna go right here intersection to here intersection to here okay um, I'm gonna drop that down again with the tool um, drop that down so all of 
Maybe we'll do that one inch. Okay, whoa. Uh, one inch. Okay. Uh, and then do the line tool again. Right here. Erase these lines so we have these kind of designations between drawers and cupboards. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these panels and pull them out uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to go like this and push pull. <laughs> that was just my mouse moving. So I'm going to go three quarters of an inch and hit enter. <laughs> Remember that um, push pull tool saves whatever was your last um, your last measurement. So I'm going to double click here, double click here, double click here. Um, let's put some uh, simple handles on here. Uh, some like we'll make them some brass handles. Brass handles are very uh, very hip right now. So uh, we'll make them very very simple. Okay, just some standard drawer pulls. Um, so let's put them on the face. Let's drop them an inch down. So again, paint measure tool, uh, an inch down. Okay, whoa. <laughs> it doesn't matter. My mouse is moving all over the place, but one inch. You can one inch type enter. Um, bring them in from the edges. Um, let's bring them in. Uh, let's say three inches okay, and then three inches from this edge over here. The same thing here. Whoop. Three inches. Um, we'll go in from this edge, uh, three inches. Uh, I'm going to just do some long bar handle. Uh, we're going to go from here uh, over to here. And you can see on the right, uh, we're going, let's go, I don't know, about like this. Okay. Uh, let's make it exact. I'm sorry. We've, we've done so well so far. So um, measure tool from here. We'll go down half an inch. Um, so 0.5 inches. Um, so you get this kind of like tiny rectangle in here. I'm going to do rectangle tool. Uh, oh, I'm kind of getting in the weeds on this, but um, it'll look nice here to here. Okay. Uh, we're going to grab this little rectangle, um, pull out. Let's go, I don't know look, what doesn't look crazy. Let's go an inch. Okay. Um, okay. We'll make these like brass handles. Um, that looks too high to me. So maybe I'll go three quarters of an inch and hit enter. And then, oops. <laughs> Um, we'll drag that in and then double click again. Oops. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm going to fix this. Okay. Fix them. Now what I'm doing is selecting all these faces on here, going, uh, shift, selecting all this. You can't double click. I didn't group this. Um, but select those faces over here to materials. I'm going to grab a metal. Um, and I want, I want brass. Let's see. Metals. What? These are all the metals I have. <laughs> I wanted like a gold metal, but it's all right. It's fine. Uh, we'll be boring. Okay. Grabs both the handles. I'm going to do some uh, handles on the very brief vertical handles on the um, cabinet doors. Uh, 
not too bad. Okay. Um, zip in, erase these guidelines. Actually, I'm going to do this guy over here, delete all guides, hit save. Okay. Just going to do the same, um, same door handles uh, in an inch. So with the tape measure tool, actually, let's just leave them off. Uh, sometimes you can grab the covers uh, from outside. We'll keep the lines really clean. Okay, um, so we have that counter done. Um, we're going to create one more that's going to be kind of simple um, to match it on the inside here before we start installing um, appliances. Okay, so we're going to do this one over here at the same height. Okay, this area is saying optional dishwasher right here. So we're not going to install a dishwasher. We're just going to install a counter because um, I want to keep your model small. We're going to do the same thing here to here to here. Okay. Uh, we're going to push pull this up uh, three, four and a half, 4.5 inches. Um, we triple click, right click, right group, um, draw rectangle on the top um, we're going to um, on that uh, double click right click group uh, go into and uh, select this guy um, when you grab this and go pull one and a half inches Select, click it, right click. Uh, actually, it's already a group, so I'm going to go over here to synthetic surfaces. We're just going to kind of breeze through this pretty quick. Dark, dark metal or dark synthetic. Go to the outside, edit this group. Remember, we push it back an inch, pull back an inch, one inch, enter. Um, down from the bottom, the copic, grab the tape measure. Oh, there we go. Tape measure three inches. Um, remember that we uh, draw a line from here to here. Intersection, we're going to pull this guy back uh, four inches. Whoops, it's kind of going back. Four inches, enter. And draw some quick cabinets on this. Um, let's do three. So, and they're just going to be uh, apart by um, two inches. So let's go down from the top. Actually, I'm going to leave this to you because this video is getting very long. So um, I want you guys to create, make it match, make it match with uh, over here. Okay, so you can select outside of this. Um, I just want some basic cabinet doors with some basic poles, uh, like handles. And um, yeah, just make it match. Okay. Um, all right, you guys are great. I'll talk to you soon.